Hello children. Welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is biology session. Animal fibers. We have completed the lesson. Let's uh, have quick concept review and uh, the volunteer worksheet. Okay. Are you ready children? So what are natural fibers? Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. For example, jute, cotton or natural fibers obtained from plants. Wool, silk or natural fibers obtained from animals. So plant fibers and animal fibers are natural fibers. The man-made fibers. What are man-made fibers? The fibers that are synthesized in the laboratory are called man-made fibers. Can you give examples? Terulin, terry cotton, acrylin. These are all uh, man-made fibers. And another uh, natural fiber that is uh, wool. Okay, there are many animals uh, that bear a thick coat of hair on their body. Such animals generally live in cold com climates. So thick coat of hair over the body of uh, such animals traps lot of air and keep them warm as air is a bad conductor of heat okay so for example sheep goat camel yak these are all the animals with uh, which uh, give us uh, wool isn't it and next uh, some types of wools are there good quality of wool like uh, lohi it is a good quality of wool uh, obtained uh, rajasthan and punjab okay and uh, next uh, rampur bashair is a brown fleece uh, uttar pradesh himachal pradesh rampur bashair nali is a carpet wool we can see it in uh, rajasthan haryana punjab bakhar wall for woolen shawls jammu and kashmir you can see this okay bakhar wall marwari it is a coarse wool in gujarat patanwadi for hosiery in gujarat okay so what is as what about the silk um, the rearing of silk worms for obtaining silk is called a uh, sericulture what is reeling the process of taking out threads from the cocoon for use as silk is called a uh, reeling the silk okay what are the types of silk tasser muga kosa etc these are the different varieties of silk silk fibers obtained by reeling the spun into silk threads which are woven into silk cloth by the weavers isn't it the angora goat is originally from the angora region in turkey the fiber obtained from the angora goat is called mohair kashmiri goat these are found in uh, higher plateaus of china mongolia and uh, tibet the hairy silk of goat has a combination of fine hair and coarse hair okay and uh, you also studied uh, that uh, alpaca llama and uh, vicuna are the three important members of camel family that are found in south american continent and yield wool which are very fine soft and uh, lustrous angora rabbit is a uh, well known for its uh, fine wool so these uh, wool fibers are available in uh, lesser amount and are very expensive hmm? okay children the silk is a natural protein fiber some forms of which uh, can be woven into textiles the protein fiber of silk is composed mainly of uh, fibroin and is produced by certain insect larvae to form uh, cocoons Okay. 
The best known silk is obtained from the cocoons of larvae of the mulberry silkworm, Bombyx mori, reared in uh, captivity, that is sericulture. The wool is the textile fiber obtained from sheep and uh, other animals, including the Kashmiri mo and mohair from goats and uh, quid and from uh, musk oxen, angora from rabbits and other types of wool from camelids. The wool mainly consists of uh, protein together with a few percent lipids. In this regard, uh, it is chemically quite distinct from the more dominant textile cotton which is mainly cellulose. Okay? The alpaca fiber is that of an alpaca. It is uh, warmer than sheep's wool and lighter in weight. It is a most fine, glossy and luxurious. The thickness of quality fiber is between 12 to 29 micrometers. The most alpaca fiber is white, but it also comes in various shades of brown and black. Okay, Angora fiber refers to the down coat produced by Angora rabbit. There are many types of Angora rabbits, English, French, German and Jaint. The Angora is uh, prized for its uh, softness, thin fiber of around 12 to 16 micrometers of quality fiber. And what knitters refer to as a halo, fluffiness. The fiber felts uh, very easily. Angora fiber comes in white, black and various shades of brown. Okay. Bison. Bison is a soft undercoat of the American bison. The coat of bison contains two different types of fibers. The main coat is made up of uh, coarse fiber. Average 59 micrometers called guard hairs and the downy undercoat. The average 18.5 micrometers. Okay, the Kashmiri wool is uh, characterized by its uh, luxurious soft fibers which uh, uh, with a high nappability and uh, loft. In order for a natural goat fiber to be considered Kashmiri, it must be under 18.5 micrometers in diameter and be at least 3.175 centimeters long. Another one that is a uh, mohair is a silk like fabric or yarn made from the hair of a angora goat. This is very important. Mohair is a silk like fabric or yarn made from the hair of angora goat. It is both durable and uh, resilient. It is notable for its uh, high luster and sheen and is often used in uh, fiber blends to add these qualities to a textile. The mohair also takes uh, dye exceptionally well. The sheep's wool has two qualities that distinguish it from hair or fur. It has scales which overlap like uh, shingles on a roof and it is uh, crimped in some fleeces. The wool fibers have more than 20 bends per inch. The wool varies in diameter from below 17 micrometers to over 35 micrometers. The finer the wool, the softer it will be, while coarser grades uh, are more durable and less prone to piling. Okay, another one uh, that is a uh, cuit is the fine under wool of the muskox. Cuit fibers are long, about five to eight centimeter. They are fine, between fifteen to twenty micrometers in diameter, and relatively smooth. It is approximately eight times warmer than sheep's wool and does not felt or shrink okay finally the hand spinners also use the fibers from uh, animals such as uh, llamas camels yak and possums so these fibers are generally used in clothing hair from animals such as horses is also an animal fiber horse hair is used for brushes 
the bows of uh, musical instruments and uh, many other things okay children this is the brief review so let us uh, proceed to the exercise the scientific first question the scientific name of mulberry silkworm is bombyx mori bombyx mori attacker cynthia antheria pompia theophila religiosae it is a bombyx mori next the larva of silkworm is known as caterpillar tumbler tadpole maggot caterpillar the silk uh, fiber is made of only fibroin only sericin both a and b only casein casein is milk protein actually so both fibroin and uh, sericin the process of killing larva in cocoon stage by keeping them in hot water for 15 to for 10 to 15 minutes is stifling snorting scouring sniffing stifling so don't get confused between the terms very important stifling is uh, the process of killing larva in the cocoon by heat treatment wool can be obtained from sheep goat yak all of these all of these next the silk like fiber of angora goat is known as kashmiri bishan down angora wool mohair it is mohair very important question next uh, the process of washing the shared skin to remove grease dust and uh, dirt is called as what is that process scouring washing stifling both a and b yes it is uh, scouring and uh, washing both the main coat of bison down made up of waste fiber called beard hairs guard hairs body hairs only a and b means beard hairs and guard hairs yes this is a good quality of wool is obtained from alpaca mohair merino sheep quilt merino sheep it is famous for a good quality of a wool sorting is also called as rolling twisting wool classing dyeing sorting is nothing but wool classing separation of unwanted materials from the wool is called sorting shearing scoring bleaching sorting okay it is a process of separation of unwanted materials from the wool woven threads in the power loom that go side by side are called wrap threads wolf threads knitting threads none of these they are uh, actually this is a uh, weft w e f t weft threads okay the separation of silk fiber from cocoon is called reeling spinning dyeing weaving reeling obtaining silk fiber from cocoon is called reeling shearing stiffing knitting stiffing the protein present in the silk fiber is known as keratin fibroin casein none of these fibroin the process of removing wool from the sheep is known as reeling shearing scouring washing shearing 
next uh, the process of drawing wool into yarn the process of drawing uh, wool into yarn is called spinning stiffling snoring snorting scoring it is spinning the process of removing the fleece fleece means secondary hairs the fleece of sheep from its body is called scoring sharing knitting curdling sharing the entire process of silk production starting from growing on mulberry plants collection of eggs rearing of caterpillar production of cocoons and finally raw silk fiber is called uh, sericulture apiculture aquaculture none of these sericulture the entire process is called a uh, sericulture which among the following is the animal fiber jute cotton polyester silk silk is a uh, animal fiber nearly all fabrics are made of nearly all fabrics are made of protein fiber cellulose bast fiber egyptian and sea island are among the finest linen fibers wool fibers cotton fibers silk fibers linen fibers no 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 i think uh, it is wrong it is cotton fiber okay egyptian and sea islands are common or the among the finest cotton fibers a natural fiber that tends to be scratchy and is an allergen to some people is silk linen wool cotton linen artificial leather upholstery is uh, typically made of acrylic vinyl or vinyl olefin then uh, monacrylic 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 so it is uh, vinyl a fabric constructed with a hole punch loom attachment that weaves different colors into large complex patterns is jacquard view twill view satin view rachel view rachel knit it is jacquard view so in the last class we have discussed about this when combining fabric patterns when combining fabric patterns avoid combining stripes or other uh, geometrics with uh, florals or abstracts option b keep all patterns within the same scale option c vary the scale combine a large pattern with a small one option d avoid bold saturated colors it is the option c vary the scale that is combine a large patterns with a small one which of the following is a man made fiber wool flex terrilene cotton terrilene which of the following is plant fiber terrilene flex wool silk plant fiber flex wool is obtained from which of the following animals cow dog deer sheep sheep cotton fiber is obtained from seeds by which of the following process spinning rolling picking ginning it is a ginning jute fiber is obtained from uh, which part of the jute plant stem flower fruit seed it is the stem of the jute made into fiber 
which of the following process is used for making yarn from fiber ginning knitting weaving spinning spinning yarn is converted into fabric by which of the following process pasting sewing weaving spinning okay yarn is converted to fabric by a process that is weaving okay done in the looms weaving machines drawing and twisting of fiber from cotton is uh, known by which of the following process combing weaving knitting spinning weaving yarns is made from very thin strands called fibers looms silver weft fibers the fibers which are obtained by blending natural and synthetic fibers are called joint fibers mixed fibers real fabrics artificial fabrics mixed fibers the fibers which uh, resemble wool are known as terylene acrylon polyester nylon acrylon so which of the following is the correct sequence of steps involved in processing of wool option a sorting grading shearing scoring picking of burrs dyeing option b sharing scoring picking of burrs grading sorting dyeing option c scoring sharing grading picking of burrs dyeing sorting option d sharing scoring sorting picking of burrs grading dyeing okay it is the option d first sharing then scoring then sorting then picking of uh, burrs grading and uh, dyeing this is the actual process of uh, wool making burrs are what are burrs wool obtained from goat wool obtained from goat or small fluffy fibers in wool wool obtained from camel none of these it is small fluffy fibers in wool next which of the following represents the correct sequence of uh, different phases in the life cycle of silkworm eggs option a eggs pupa cocoon caterpillar adult moth option b x caterpillar cocoon pupa adult moth option c adult moth x pupa caterpillar cocoon option d x adult moth pupa cocoon caterpillar it is the second option first x then converted to larva caterpillar then converted to cocoon pupa and uh, adult moth which of the following is an uh, animal fiber flex silk cotton wool option a both flex and uh, silk option b silk and uh, wool option c flex silk cotton option d flex silk cotton and wool so which one animal fiber silk and uh, wool so option b match the following scouring mulberry leaves yoke cotton okay and in the 
column 2 yielding silk fiber wool yielding animal food of silkworm reeling cleaning sharer silk okay mulberry leaves okay known ones food of silkworm yak yak uh, is a uh, uh, wool yielding animal yak is wool yielding animal cocoon cocoon uh, is uh, the stage uh, where uh, yielding of silk fiber then uh, scouring scouring means uh, the cleaning of uh, sharing skin sharer skin okay so first uh, at then br then uh, cp next uh, d okay cq yak means uh, wool yielding animal then cocoon p okay yielding silk fiber the stage which uh, silk fiber is extracted okay next same uh, matching type question another one australia silk of rearing uh, silk worms so as to obtain silk cocoon china okay then cocoon yield silk fiber the signs of rearing uh, silk worms it is called uh, sericulture australia is famous for uh, wool china is famous for its silk okay so a r b s a r b s then c q and uh, d p okay b option is correct okay children so these are the some of the questions appeared in the previous uh, olympiads from this chapter you read the lesson and uh, try to answer the different uh, forms of questions appear from this chapter okay thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates